Before this video starts, remember to go and follow me on Twitter to be in with a chance of winning $100. Link is below. Entitled mum tries to take my spot in the pew at a funeral. I remember this super vividly. Lots of tears were shed this day as my family had lost our matriarch, my great grandmother of 104. The family was torn to shreds last weekend, weekend of the 8th of November 2019, so nonsense like this wasn't expected. A bit of backstory, my dad's family is full of many different ethnic groups. My aunts and uncles live all over the world, so they've married accordingly. However, this entitled mum and entitled kid about in their mid 40s and late 10s respectively figured their emotions were more important than that of my own i've always been close to my grandparents on my dad's side and that hasn't changed even when my mum 52 and dad 61 divorced and i moved to texas the setting of this story is in my hometown of wichita kansas we've gone through a ton of losses since i was little my great grandmother as of late her daughter my dad's mother back on february 8th of 2017 and my gramps who i wasn't old enough to remember. I've had my fair share of funerals, and if it wasn't seen as disrespectful, I would much rather mourn in secret. Yet every funeral I've gone to, my father has always saved me a seat in the front pews near him, so that I'm not lost in the sea that is my dad's side of the family. Mostly also, since I usually call myself a soldier, when he finally breaks down, it helps that I'm there to comfort him. At the last funeral, his mum's, we saw the worst of these. He didn't even want to go back to his resident state, but instead, he wanted to live in their old house with his little sister my aunt for the rest of his days because that's where she last was needless to say knowing his parents and now grandparents were both gone he was sputtering and bawling and just would not stop that's jumping a bit too far so let's take it back to when everyone was filing into the chapel i naturally took my spot next to my father in the first row of pews preparing for tons of tears i was taking a moment to myself to breathe calming myself down I was getting anxious and was about to have an anxiety attack when an entitled mum, EK, and begrudgingly a nice dad, who was one of my married in uncles, walk up to me. I stand to give them a hug and some blessings as normal, then go to sit down. Suddenly though, the entitled mum grabs my arm and holds me in suspension. Her nails are cutting into me a bit, but I don't say very much about it. I was an adventurous kid, a few scrapes and bruises never hurt, so her cat claws for dang sure weren't gonna do a thing. Um, excuse me, where do you think you're going? Indirect family sits towards the back. I was appalled. Multiple scenarios of me hanging about my great grandmother's from now on big granny's house and playing with Legos until my dad came home from work were filling my mind. I clearly my throat this was not helping at all with my anxiety attack by the way sorry i don't think i understand i'm big granny's first generation of great grandbabies this is my seat my dad her grandbaby is reserving this seat the entitled mum scoffs i don't see your name on it kid move out of the way don't you know how to respect your elders i'm stammering an anxious rebuttal acting like this doesn't make you any more of an elder as it makes me you don't see me telling big granny's great 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 grandchildren not to chew gum or play on their mum and dad's phones instead do you the entitled mum is baffled by my talking back and tries her best not to raise her voice i've known big granny for years you're never around there's no way a pos spawn like you was reserved a seat here i doubt she even remembered you i'm nearly in tears at this point not only did she insult me but she tried to tack on some guilt to make me feel even worse for having to live with my mother under custody my mum didn't even want me to come to the funeral I look over and they're carrying big granny in preparing to start I begin to whisper fighting the tears of confrontation as well as seeing big granny's coffin I'm sure that granny wouldn't want someone calling her great-grandchild a pos spawn. It's time to be respectful The entitled kid butts in trying to put in her own two cents She's right, you know big granny loved me more because I was around we deserve to see her first now move jerk The entitled mum in classic mum fashion gives the back of her head a small smack hush up stay out of grown folks conversation she turns back to me but she's right we've been around more so these are our seats move it my dad turning from his wife to tune in stands up his light skinned face turning beet red in anger he looked as if he was gonna pop his eyeballs out nice dad take your wife to the back big granny is here there's no time to be disrespectful excuse me i have as much right to be here with my entitled kid to honor our great grandmother as much as she did my dad was having none of it get out what leave the chapel go away you're bringing negative energy to a serious situation leave now his outburst brought a ton of attention i was nearly in tears and it 
it wasn't even because they'd open her casket for viewing the entitled mum her entitled kid and the nice dad start to walk out the mum and the kid are beat red and bawling i grab the nice dad and shake my head you deserve to see her you weren't a part of this ah oh, that's nice i've been trying to turn her out for a while now lawyer said to be cordial and all my dad smiled knowingly You'd better hope you get custody of your kid and train her right. It seems her mother isn't there for her, rather just the flaunt relevance over everyone else. It's not the way to go. Come sit, let's scoot over OP. I oblige and everything goes as normal. The funeral service was amazing. It wasn't depressing. The pastor made some nice points, some good laughs and brought back some really fond memories. One thing from the funeral I was told to repeat for anything in the future. Let not your heart be troubled. Sunrise, December 18th, 1915. Sunset, November December 2nd, 2019. Gone but never forgotten, she watched the world change before her eyes and brought up a family worthy of continuing her legacy. May she rest in peace, reunited with her family now past. Say hello to Gramps, Little Granny, Grammy and Paw Paw, Uncle and Mrs. Johnson for me. We miss you all. Oh, the worst place to show your entitlement at a funeral. A really sad, depressing, and selfless time. It's meant to be a celebration of someone else's life, nothing to do with you at all. I'm sorry for your loss. I just can't get over how this is happening at a funeral. Let me know in the comments below, is there a worse place to be entitled than at someone else's funeral? I honestly don't think there is. Let me know. Moving on to our second story. I'm a bad influence to your daughter because you assume I am suicidal. First off, I am not suicidal just getting that out of the way second this happened a few days ago and this year one of my best friends committed suicide the main trigger was his mum being a butthole and then his parents divorce after arguments for over a few years i attended his memorial less than a week ago this is important for later moving on i was at one of my high school's fundraising events and volunteering to hand out little goodie bags pencils stickers that stuff and help families as they entered the school i needed volunteer hours for graduation and this was the easiest way of doing it. There was a girl that was volunteering with me. I didn't know her well, but I shared a couple classes with her. During lulls, I had some small talk with her about school, mostly about the November SAT and some tests we had coming up. She was also talking about how her mum was really strict and had a couple of weird rules. Speaking of the devil, her mum shows up and our story begins. I've just been so tired lately. School has been really taking a toll on my sleep and I don't know how much more I can take. Right? But at least? Then the entitled mum gets involved. Daughter! Huh? Mum? You get away from him right now! Wait, why? I didn't do anything. My shift isn't even halfway done. Oh, I know, sweetie, but this boy, she glares at me, is a very bad influence for you. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I mean. You're suicidal. Whoa, what are you talking about? We've been talking about school for the past few minutes. I never said anything like that. Sure, I know your type. You're going to corrupt my baby with your thoughts. Mum, stop, he really hasn't. Shush, hun, she turns to me. Now you leave my angel alone and you go die alone. You filth shouldn't be around normal people. I knew that kid who died earlier this year. He tried to corrupt my child too. I'm glad he's gone now. Mum, what the heck? I realized at this moment that she was talking about my friend. Now wait just a moment, miss. That kid was one of my best friends. You see, he admits- Shut up! You don't know anything about him, do you? He died because of a woman like you who was supposed to be his mother. She treated him just like how you're treating me. His parents divorced. He blamed himself for that even though it wasn't his fault. What the actual F is wrong with you? How dare you speak to your elders like that? You should be expelled for your inappropriate behavior and trying to get my daughter killed. I'm getting an administrator right now. An administrator walks in. That won't be necessary, mom. Oh, good. Now, I want this boy severely punished for his actions against my dear daughter. The only person I see getting in trouble is you, mom. I'm asking you to leave the premises. What? He's the troublemaker. No, miss. I believe he's just explaining to you why you are a bad parent. Now, please leave before I have the SRO escort you out. And remember, everything you are doing is seen by the security cameras. The entitled mum is cherry red right now. Fine, but you will be seeing my lawyer later. Little miss, you're coming with me. I'm crying my eyes out and many people in the hall have stopped and are staring. The entitled mum tries to yank her daughter out of her chair, but the nice girl refuses. No, mum, you just insulted this boy who recently lost a friend. Can you even think about what he's going through? This is why I chose dad over you. At least he has empathy. You, you see what you people have done? My daughter doesn't even trust me. She points to the admin. You better hope you can find another 
job after they find out you let this happen. The entitled mom storms out and the administrator comes over to me. Hey kid, do you need to go home? I can get another volunteer to fill your spot. I'm sniffling. No, I can still continue. I still need the hours. Kid, just go home. I'll give you the hours anyway. You deserved it. <sighs> Thank you, sir. I shakily pack up my stuff, say bye to the girl, and walk home. I don't know what has happened to the mum, but I hope she gets what she deserves. Oh, dang, yeah, this kid is absolutely right. It is parents like this that have massive effects on their children's health and their lives in general. Oh, I could feel the emotion in this one. Thankfully, the nice girl isn't anything like her mother and doesn't seem to be too affected by her. Anyway, OP, I hope you're doing better after venting about this. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of this one. A little bit of an emotional one to finish, but still enjoyable nonetheless if you want some more content from me click the playlist on screen right now for my top 10 videos of all time just click it you know it's my best ever videos with that being said i'll see you all tomorrow with another reddit video